It's time for the BA Breakdown on the KRMG Afternoon News, where every Tuesday we check in live with Broken Arrow City Manager Michael Spurgeon, get the latest on what's happening out there in the big metropolis of BA, and he joins us live now. Michael, how are you? Hey, I'm doing wonderful, Skyler. Been looking forward to our conversation this afternoon. Me too, because I got word this will be uh, great news for a lot of folks because this question has come up with uh, you and I on this segment a few times. People like to talk about the roads. And I heard a little rumor that the worst road in Broken Arrow, as it was dubbed, (laughs) is about to be fixed. Can you tell us about that? Uh, I think I dubbed it that. uh, (laughs) Unfortunately, I mean, um, I am super excited to share with those folks that live primarily on the east side of town is that tonight the city council is going to consider the award of a contract to actually um, upgrade and improve the mile stretch from Kenosha to Albany, also known as 209th and 37th. We did the South Mile last year, and so now we're going to award that contract. And we're talking about widening from two lanes to three lanes, make the necessary stormwater improvements, There's going to be nearly 3,000 linear feet of a new water line that's going to be installed, a concrete sidewalk on the east side of the roadway for those folks that walk in the area. And uh, we're going to go with Cherokee Pride uh, Construction is being recommended. And the cost came in under their estimate, so it's going to be about $4.1 million to complete this project. But the council and I couldn't be happier that this is a project that the voters approved and uh, we've got the funding, and we're going to make it happen. No, that's good news. That's a busy stretch. Definitely needs the upgrade. I know yes. it, tonight's step is really just awarding the contract, but is there a plan yet? Do we know on like when it might start, when it might be done? Well, t- typically, once council awards the contract, the, you know you have to get bonds in place, contracts get signed, mobilization by the contractor. So I would anticipate, based on that, you're talking about 30 to 60 days maximum before the contractor gets out. So I would tell folks that probably sometime after Memorial Day to the middle part of June, they should start to see the orange cones and all the uh, the signs that go along with the construction going up in the area. And we'll let the folks know our great communication teams will be putting out information on that. But we're about less than 60 days away, I would say, is the outside before we start to see some work there. We're talking with Broken Arrow City Manager Michael Spurgeon live on the KRMG Afternoon News. We call this the BA Breakdown, and it happens every Tuesday. Michael, while we are talking about roads, I had a question that came in on the open mic on the KRMG app for you, and it's related to the next thing I wanted to ask you, so it acts perfect as a transition here for us. Do you know when the road will be expanded from two lanes to four lanes on 145th between 121st and 131st with all the new growth in South BA? Question mark. Oh, question mark. I think she thought she was texting. That's from Sam on the open (laughs) mic. Sam, great question. Um, you know, I will tell you is that when you look at a road, you've got to plan how you're going to do the road and take into consideration all the traffic that's going to be on that road. And I will tell you is this is one of the probably one of uh, most important roads we have in our community that isn't related to people really going to and from work, even though they use it. This is a very important road that leads to Indian Springs Sports Complex. And the voters back in 2018 approved the widening of that road actually to five lanes and improving the intersections at Tucson, which is 121st and Jasper 131st. And so we had to secure a federal grant in order to help come up with the funding for it. So what we decided to do is we're actually going to complete that project in three phases. And we're going to do the intersection separately. Then we're going to actually do from the intersection down to Indian Spring Sports Complex and then come back and do the do the rest of the road, which would be from Jasper up to Tucson. And it's going to take uh, it's going to take about a year, a year and a half to complete in construction, which is the most important question. We'll probably start after Labor Day of next year. We've got to finish up right away acquisition. The utilities need to get relocated. And so this is really complicated because we want to try to reduce the amount of impact that this construction is going to have on all the people that drive day to day and use the the park. But we're about a year and a half away before the start of construction, but we're committed to getting it done, uh, Skyler. Thank you for that. And thanks to Sam for the question on the open mic. Lastly, just up the road from there, there's the big development that's underway, Aspen Ridge. And I've, every time I drive by, I think I need to ask Michael about that. I know a lot of businesses uh, are really coming along. It looks great. That's where the big research is going to be and a lot of businesses around it. So how are we doing out there and when might people get to go shopping over there? Well, actually, I'm excited to, sh- to, sh- to share with everyone is tonight we're, the council is going to be looking at amending the agreement with the developer. The developer is going to be here to talk about the, the actual construction. There's going to be a need for extending some of the timelines. For example, the research 
we now know is going to be open in November of this year. So right now they're getting close to completing uh, the structure, but then you have to actually go into the interior and, and set everything up, stock the shelves, get everything ready to go. So we're just a few months away from it being open. But there's a lot of other construction that's going to be happening that's going to take a little bit more time than normal. Uh, the requirement was for several hundred thousand square feet of commercial. So we're going to be seeing a lot of construction in that area for the next several years. In fact, to the north of the come and go or the research, you could be in that area, you could see eight additional national brand franchises that are going to be in that development, plus 168 apartments. And so tonight, Council is going to consider some amendments to the agreement to allow some additional time in order for the developer to complete the project. So this is not unexpected. We just want to make sure that everything is uh, as addressed and that we keep those expectations on the developer because we definitely want them to perform and this is a good way to actually have the developer come and explain some of the challenges and opportunities that are out there well, that's the first time i think i've heard that research will be open that soon so appreciate the update we are uh, out of time for today but i look forward to talking to you next week you have a good rest of your week my friend you too that's broken arrow city manager michael spurgeon